with one timeout left and a minute 38, you can trust that you're going to get the ball back. Because one timeout, or one first down, and the game's over. This is this is the correct call schematically for Bobby Bowden. Well, fourth downs, have, they've owned them. 14 out of 16 conversions in fourth down situations. Third best percentage in the country on fourth down conversions. This is a fourth and 15 for Florida State. Maybe the game. Ricks again back. Looking. A lot of room to run, but too far to go for a first down. Incomplete! Maryland takes over! Well, I go back to when Chris Ricks came into the game, and I think that Wyatt Sexton should still have been the quarterback to finish this game out. Ricks made a couple of nice plays. The guy has a, a tremendous amount of ability. That ball right there, I think, shows why Wyatt Sexton should have stayed in. That ball was open, and he overthrew it. And Chris Ricks has not been practicing with the first team for a few weeks, and we've seen three or four balls that were nothing to do with anything but timing. And you lose that timing, and I don't think the woes of this Florida State offense had anything to do with Wyatt Sexton. I didn't think Jeff Bowden called a great game, and I think they may have hurt this young man's confidence. Well, Maryland has great field position with a minute 32 left to go. They just want to control the football now. They are leading it 20 to 17 with a minute 32 left on the clock. They're just going to down it here and let it run as Maryland is looking to beat Florida State for the first time ever. Florida State 14 and 0 against Maryland. Our Chevrolet players of the game. Antonio Cromartie there for the Seminoles. Dominique Foxworth, two cornerbacks who played really well. A thousand dollar donation from Chevrolet to the universities, each of their general scholarship funds. Boy, give, give just a ton of credit to Gary Blackney and his staff. They had a great game plan. They weathered the storm here at the end. They made the plays when they needed to. And time and time again, Florida State went to that deep ball well, and Dominique Foxworth, every time they threw it, he was there to make a play, cause an interception, get a pass interference against the offense, and this defense should be celebrating. They played their hearts out. Boy, they are doing that over there. They want to reset the clock again here. Statham, 21 out of 40, 333 yards in the passing game here today against a Florida State defense which was one of the best in the nation. Well and, and Ralph Regan he, he talked to us he, he talked to his team about the Boston Red Sox and he talked to them about Mississippi State going in and beating Florida and he wanted to know he said we're going to whether we win or lose I'm going to learn a whole lot about my team this week. Well even if they would have lost this game I think he learned a whole lot because these guys bought into that the we believe that he kept saying time and time again. And they're going to finish this thing out. So that not only they get the lesson, but they also get that much needed W if they want to go to a bowl game. They keep their bowl hopes alive. They went to the Gator Bowl and won the Gator Bowl last year. And they've got to still come away with wins. They can only afford maybe one more loss and still make uh, a bowl appearance. But what an enormous upset is in the making here. And boy, there are some shots. Look at well, the hit just put on the quarterback who wasn't even close to the play Joel Statham got hit yeah but he's not kneeling he's trying to buy more time because they're in that gray area about whether they're going to really be able to run out the entire clock so Statham trying to buy some time by not kneeling Ernie Sims says hey play still alive I'm going to come hit you and try to cause a turnover and he did now down to 58 the clock continues to run no more timeouts available for Florida State they are out of timeouts their first win over a top five team since 1983 when they beat North Carolina their first over a top 10 in 15 years their first win ever against Florida State that's what's on the line for Maryland the officials blow the whistle and apparently Maryland has taken a time uh, they were getting down to the zeros on the clock and they wanted to take that time out because at this point it's going to be close whether they can run this clock out and I and I think that what they're going to do is uh, you've got to run the ball because you, you're going to have to take off about you look at about 37 seconds is about the number you think that you can run out with one play and right now Rouse have that and all the coaches have the card and I think they're going to have to no, don't kneel it run it and you might buy that extra three seconds otherwise they're going to have to punt it away Yeah, 40 seconds left to go on the clock as you see 
the timeout taken by Maryland and they've got a third down and 19. But punting it is not the worst thing that can happen for Maryland. They've had good snaps all day. Podlish can do a one step and just try to drop it on the 10 or 15 and then Florida State would be left with one maximum two plays. But if they can get any kind of running play a five or six yarder I think they could probably run it out. And Maryland's previous three games their yardage was 81 91 and 194 <laughs> against Bobby Bowden Seminoles today 394 yards gained an incredible performance by this offense of Maryland they were severe underdogs coming into this game not expected to even be close and they've never a lot trailed. Of people thought they wouldn't compete they have not trailed in this game No, they've played, they've played great uh, Joel Statham has grown up Another step in his progression. We're not done yet, though. It's just going to be handled by Stanley. He's going to run the clock down, and there he puts the knee down. But I think he got it. I think he got it. 33 seconds and ticking. You, you could see him looking at the clock. It's going to bring up the fourth they down. Got they got it. enough. <laughs> Joel Statham was looking at the clock the whole time as he was backing up. He knew he had to get to about 36 seconds. He took a knee perfectly. The officials couldn't get it set. What a great job by Statham to get this clock to burn out. History is made today for Maryland. The first time they have ever beaten Florida State. And the number five Florida State Seminoles are going to be knocked off by the Terrapins never having gotten the lead as Maryland beats them 20 to 17 and the celebration begins. The sellout crowd here at College Park emptying onto the field and surrounding this Maryland team they have come up with an enormous upset 20 to 17 ABC Sports is online at ESPN.com keyword ABC Sports. Wow what a game. Red Cunningham Dr. Jerry Punch and all of our crew Gary Thorne. Let's go to John Saunders.